28 nothing. but how proud of you were you? Just the fight, the team, you know, clawing back, especially in that second half. Well, that's one thing. Obviously, we created a lot of natural adversities for ourselves, and we didn't start fast, but what you saw was a team that has competitive character, and we worked ourselves back into the game, and uh, that speaks a lot for what we have and, and who we are. But, you know, you can't come on the road, and you can't really start any game the way we did. Uh, they scored offensively. They scored four out of five of their first possessions. It took us our sixth possession uh, to score. When you look at critical down execution, we were three out of 14 on third down conversions. We weren't able to possess the football. I thought in the first half we had way too many penalties, particularly in the special teams game. We hadn't done that all year long, and, and every play plays off of each other. But, uh, you know, the big punt return got us back in the game. And uh, again, I thought our players competed, but we made, made way too many mistakes today uh, to give us a chance to win. You know, had a couple guys banged up. I mean, how much did that really impact things for you guys offensively? Well, you know, it's next man in. And uh, very, very unfortunate circumstance with Jacob Bear this morning. And uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family, and he's going to be fine. He'll have to stay over in Huntington. But, uh, you know, I thought McKeelan Thomas did a really good job of moving from tackle to center. Uh, but again, it gets back to the still infant stages of our program and that competitive depth of being able to play win football no matter who's on, who's on the field. And uh, we made way too many mistakes in all three phases tonight to win. Now kind of the waiting game begins for you guys. I mean, kind of waiting. How Game plan-wise, how's this next week kind of looking for you guys? Well, there's a lot of things that are going to occur this week. I think, first of all, we got to get healthy. I think what you're seeing is the rigors of a long football scene is, has finally affected our football team. So we have to work to get our health back as much as, as we can. I think the next thing is is taking a couple t days off for academics and then getting back, getting back in the weight room, but also practicing. And then on top of that, now you have to manage recruiting. Uh, you know, we'll have an official visit next Friday. So there's a lot of moving parts and pieces and moving forward. But, you know, a couple days off is what this football team needs right now. How would you feel Rainer performed kind of ups and downs performance-wise today? Yeah, I think you just said it. You know, some good to build upon, but also some learning experiences. You know, we can't turn the football over. They're in a trap to, you know, cover two corner. Uh, we we're running a spacing three-step game he's got to move on and progress and those are all things in moving forward you know when you look offensively we had the ball six times on our side of the 50 and we came away with zero points you can't do that uh, you have to come away and cash that field position in for touchdowns and again we weren't able to do that glass half full six and six after how the season kind of started still the fact you guys are bowl eligible has got to be obviously a bright spot moving forward for this program well it is it's it's a bright spot and obviously tonight is very disappointing but you have to treat it as a learning experience and you got to continue to move forward uh, but you know to have a 13th opportunity uh, to be able to grow and develop our young football team with more practice reps more time in the weight room and really for this team just to stay together uh, you know, and for our 11 seniors as well, obviously with the portal opening up, uh, that's going to be a, a roller coaster ride as well as it'll be for the entire uh, world of college football. But uh, it's just another opportunity to continue and improve and also be together as a football team and also for our fan base to be able to have a bowl game for the holidays. Last question, 11 bowl eligible teams, just kind of describe the depth of this entire Sunbelt Conference. Well, I think that speaks volumes. I think it speaks for itself. You know, we spoke many times about this being one of the most competitive conferences in all of college football. It doesn't matter if it's Power Five or Group of Five, and I think that's evidenced by the amount of bowl teams that are eligible for bowl games and postseason play. And I think our young players, our, our, our players are learning. You have to reinvent yourself every single week. You are responsible for your own self-determination on a weekly basis. In praise and blame, it's all the same. And uh, I think sometimes we get caught up in the ebbs and flows instead of having that consistent approach of just focusing one day at a time. Obviously, it was kind of too big of a hole for you guys to dig out of, but how proud of you were you just the fight this team kind of showed in that second half? Yeah, I think uh, we showed a lot of resiliency. Um, you know, just getting in the hole we, like, we, we dug ourselves into and, and, you know, trying to fight our way back. And I think we showed some toughness, and, I mean, that, that's what our team's all about. Walk me through that punt return touchdown. Well, yeah, I mean, we talked about it all week. Um, we knew we were going to have a chance, and, you know, with Cross game one last week, you know, it was my turn, and uh, it was our turn. And uh, so, you know, those guys doubted it up, and, you know, I did the easy part. Just after starting the season 0-2, I mean, up kind of a 
up and down kind of finish the season. Six and six, six and six, but a lot to kind of hang your hats on. I mean, how much can you kind of take this positivity kind of moving forward? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's positivity in everything, I guess. Uh, you know, I mean, we're still coming off a loss. At the end of the day, every, the goal is to win every game. Um, yeah. So no matter what you, where you start or where you, you know, where you finish, you, you're trying to win every game. So I mean, we got a lot of work to do, but I mean, I think there's some good things that we have done this season. How beneficial is this next week going to be for you guys to kind of definitely get some rest? I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be huge for us, uh, you know, to get some people back and everybody, you know, at this point, everybody's bruised up a little bit. So to, you know, get, get, get rid of some of those and, you know, get back healthy. Just offensively, just, I know it's kind of an up, you know, slow start, but you, you feel like you guys offensively really kind of warmed up, especially like later in the game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, we started, you know, doing more tempo and stuff, and you know, stuff starts with just getting the first first down. Um, that's that's the key with every drive. Just get one first down, and then you move from move on. From